Can prophecy and war intertwine to shape the course of history? The Gaza War, a conflict that has been raging for six months, stands as a stark reminder of a prophecy, etched in the pages of Revelation 11 that has come to life in our times. The prophecy speaks of the outer court given to the Gentiles, who would trample the holy city for 42 months. Today, the outer court mirrors the Gaza Strip, and the inner court, Israel. The Israel Defense Forces, or the IDF, continue their operations. A constant trampling of the holy city. The conflict began with the Al-Aqsa Flood, or Temple Flood, on the Israeli citizens on October 7, 2023. The IDF retaliated, which has escalated into a full-blown conflict. The fighting has been ceaseless. The losses, immeasurable. Homes turned to rubble, families torn apart, and the death toll. A chilling reminder of the war's devastating reality. Today, more than 30,000 lives have been lost in Gaza. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza has deepened. Displacement and hunger have become the norm for millions, with Palestinian children bearing the brunt of the crisis. The war has not just claimed lives, but has also robbed these children of their innocence and their future. Six months into the war, the prophecy from Revelation 11 continues to unfold. The IDF persists in their operations. The trampling of the holy city continues. And the Gaza Strip, the outer court in the prophecy, remains under siege. In summary, the Gaza War paints a grim picture of a prophecy being manifest. The prophecy from Revelation 11, which speaks of the Gentiles trampling the holy city for 42 months, seems to be playing out in real time, with the IDF continuing its operations in the Gaza Strip. As we witness the events of the Gaza War, we are reminded of the profound impact that prophecy has upon our lives as we wait for the Lord's imminent return.